Good morning, my friends, and welcome to another week of Miss Nichols' Virtual Story Time. So before we get into our story of the week, I have just a couple quick reminders, so stay tuned. We're going to start our story time for the week. So first we're going to do our story time schedule. So we start with what song? We start with our hello song, good job. And then we're going to do some more singing and dancing and stretching. And then we get to read our story of the week, good job. And then we do some more singing and dancing. And then it'll be time to say goodbye until next time. So if you're ready, let's get into our hello song. So we're going to get our hello hands up. So any hands you want, you could do small hands, medium hands, really, really big hands. We're going to start with our hello song to say hello to all of our family and friends. And we're going to do it two times. So here we go. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I hope that you are too. Good job. Now we're ready for our books to the ceiling song. So here we go, let's get our arms up, let's stretch those arms and hands way, way up high to the ceiling. And we're gonna do books to the ceiling. Books to the ceiling, books to the sky. My pile of books is 10 miles high. How I love them, how I need them. I'll have a long beard by the time I read them. Good job, my friends. So now if you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and shake our sillies out. Gotta shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Wiggle my like a soul. Wait, now we clap, clap. My crazies out. Clap those crazies out. Good job. Big claps. Big claps. Good job. Now we're going to jump. 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 Jump to that ceiling. Keep jumping. Keep reaching. Reach all the way up high. Reach, reach, reach. Jump. Jump the jiggles out. Good job. Ooh. Yawn the sleepies out now. Let's get it. Push the yawn out. Ooh. Try not to fall asleep, okay? Hmm. Oh, now we gotta get up and shake. Shake, keep shaking. Good job. Let's get one more big shake in there. Come on, there we go. Shake, shake. Good job, my friends. Okay, my friends, now that we've gotten all of our sillies out, we've shaken it and shaken it and shaken it, we're gonna get ready for our story of the week. And I have a special surprise today. I actually get to have the book in my hand so you guys can follow along with me in the pictures. But also, just like how we do every week, there's going to be the picture in the back on the PowerPoint for you guys to follow. So now you have more ways to follow along. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So this book is called The Case of the Stinky Stench. So because we're digging deeper this year and investigating and learning, this book is going to teach us how we can find clues and use those clues to figure out the mystery at the end. So for this book, we're going to find out where that smelly, stinky, stinky smell is coming from. So we got to find the clues and we have to follow the clues to figure them out. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and try and solve the case of the stinky stench by Josh Funk. Back in the kitchen and deep in the fridge, past Trifle Tower, across Taco Bridge, on a vacation at Mushroom Coast, sat Lady Pancake beside Sir French Toast. Knocking down syrup from Northern Vermont, over the bridge came Inspector Croissant. Uncle Croissant said, 
The fridge is in trouble. A horrible stench turned a whole shelf to rubble. I'm the last hope, or the fridge will be lost. Help me, or else we'll be cooked, served, and sauced. Nefarious odors began wafting by as French Toast replied, I will certainly try. Got to succeed, said Croissant with a sob. I've solved zero cases since getting this job. So, Croissant is sad because since he got the job of being a detective, he hasn't been able to solve any cases. So let's see if we can help him today. It's Baron Von Waffle, that devious square, said Pancake with anger. Let's head to his lair. Uh-oh, so now they're going to Baron Von Waffle's house. They started their search crossing Salsa Ravine and lumbered through smog around Mount Everbeam. Slowly they crept to the Onion Ring Cave. Baron Von Waffle, said Toast, you old knave. So, there's something smelly. And now, we're at the Onion Ring Cave. Hmm. We think it could be the onions that are being a little smelly? Let's find out. What are you doing here? Waffle said, sneering. I'm sleuthing, Croissant said, and you're interfering. What do you know about smells that are vicious? Nothing, said Waffle. My home smells delicious. What do we think? Is Waffle telling the truth or is he lying? Hmm, let's find out. Nephew, said Toast. Waffle's right. It smells splendid. The trio trudged out, but the case hadn't ended. So it wasn't Waffle because his house smelled delicious. Didn't smell bad. The smell's getting worse, said Croissant with a shiver as Tater Tot stumbled through Applesauce River. What could be the source of that awful stench? An okra popped out of a red curry dish and said, there's a tail of a stinky red fish who lurks at the bottom of Corn Chowder Lake. This might be our next clue, a stinky red fish. Great, said Croissant as he tripped by mistake. Whoops, mistake, get it? <laughs> Rowing their fastest with carrot stick oars, they studied the depths and they scanned all the shores. So they're in their boat, they're looking around, they're looking around, scanning the shores. Ahoy, cried Croissant, a red herring right there. At last they'd unravel this stinky affair. So now I think they solved it. It's the red stinky fish. They paddled on forward, but as the boat neared, a flavorful, smoky aroma appeared. Mmm, it seemed the red herring was just a bad clue. Dejected, the three didn't know what to do. So it wasn't the red herring. What do you think it could be? See if we can find out in the next page. It's time to give up, Pancake said with remorse. No, said Croissant, I'll discover the source. Inspector Croissant took a mighty big whiff. So he went, the odor is coming from Casserole Cliff. So now they're all the way going to Casserole Cliff. Peppers lay slumping and apples were dented. Plums shrank to prunes and the beans had fermented. That's when they saw it, the source of their woe. Uh-oh, can we see what's going on? Where is that smell coming from? Oh, a moldy old fruitcake from eight months ago. Ooh, ew. Someone destroy him, said Pancake, right now. Sure, replied Toast. 
but I can't fathom how. We need to hold our noses. This smells really, really bad as sticky, sticky, sticky old fruitcake. Hey, you! The fruitcake just cowered, alone looking scared. Life isn't all bows and cherries, he said, he shared. I entered the fridge, but then soon was forgotten. Slowly I crumbled, and now I'm just rotten. Poor fruitcake. This is my case, said Croissant. I'll prevail. Everyone knows fruitcakes never go stale. But how would you like being left to decay? This is no villain. Let's help him. Make way. So they know he's not a bad guy. It was a mistake he got left behind. So now they're going to help him. Together they journeyed past cliff, lake, and cave and offered the fruitcake a shower and a shave. Soon the old fruitcake was fresh as could be. What's that delectable smell? Asked Miss Bree. With all tasty odors destroyed and dissolved, the team celebrated and shouted, case solved. And they had a really big party to celebrate. And here is a map of the whole place where they live. So see all that? And you'll be able to see it close in the PowerPoint too. How cool is that? So they just showed us everywhere we went to try and solve this case. The end. All right, my friends, good job with your investigating and solving skills. We were able to help croissant and pancake and toast solve the mystery of the stinky smell. But your detective work isn't over yet. Now I need your help. Actually, Louie and I need your help. Something smells really, really stinky around here, and Louie and I can't figure it out. So we're gonna go ahead and show you some of the clues that we found, and then we're gonna all solve this mystery together. So can you help us solve the stinky stench in our house? My goodness, you guys are the best investigators I have ever worked with. Who'd have thought it was Louie all along? Good job, my friends. Thank you for helping me solve my mystery. Okay, so before we get into our good books, good times, I'm going to go ahead and give you the quick challenge for this week. So it's super easy. So just like how we investigated in our story and in my house today, I want to know, what kind of smells do you not like? What are some stinky smells to you? I know for me, I know a lot of people like mushrooms. I'm not saying mushrooms are bad, but for me, I do not like the smell of mushrooms. It is so stinky to me. Oh, it is just a stinky, stinky smell. So that's one of my smells that I really, really don't like, and it's stinky to me. So your challenge is, what is stinky to you? What doesn't smell good to you? Could it be stinky socks? Could it be an uh, old banana peel? What's a stinky smell to you? I can't wait to hear some of your silly answers. All right, so if you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and get into our good books, good time song. 
Let's get our beads and clap our hands. Three, two, one, here we go. Good books, good times, good stories, good rhymes, good beginnings, good ends, good people, good friends, good fiction, good facts, good adventures, good acts, good stories, good rhymes, good books, good times. Good job, my friends. Okay, so now it's going to be time for our goodbye song. All right, my friends, thank you again for joining me. I had so much fun solving our stinky mysteries. Remember, don't forget to post what your silly stinky smells are. Here we go, our goodbye song. Bye bye, goodbye. Bye bye, bye bye, goodbye. Clap our hands, I can clap my hands. We can clap our hands, we can stamp our feet. census and to sign up for summer reading if you haven't done so. Have a good week my friends. Bye.